Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I'm gonna give you the overview for the Liquid Smooth ROM for Nexus 5. Now Liquid Smooth ROM are known for its smoothness and customization provided. So let's check it out. Firstly, I'm gonna show you the Android version provided by this ROM. Now this ROM provides Android version 5.0.2 as you can see. Now Liquid Smooth ROM are based on Cyanogen mod, so the current version is of Cyanogen mod. Now I am running the latest build of the Liquid Smooth ROM that is released on Jan 15. Now you can check for the latest update for Liquid Smooth ROM in in the Liquid Smooth update section. So you don't have to flash the every new update, it will automatically download and install it. So it's a good option to have. Now let's check out the customization menu. A customization can be seen under the device settings called Liquid Smooth. It has provided lot of customization. The first is Equalizer. They have provided Viper for Android Equalizer. So it's a good equalizer to have. For audio files, it's the best equalizer for in, in the Android system. Then next is Interface. You can change the LCD density of the screen. I have kept it default. Then next is System Animation. You can change the system animations. As you can see, there are tons of options. Means you can change the Activity Open Animation, Activity Close Animation means all the system animation can be customized and there are tons of customization available inside each option so you can keep it as your requirement I have kept all to default then next is list view animation you can change the list view animation of the system then next is hide search bar in recent means you can enable or disable the search bar in recent as you can see I have enabled it so you, you can see the search bar then next is you can Customize the clock and alarm widget, weather panel, and calendar event also. Now let's check out the another option that is navigation. You can enable the gesture anywhere option. So you can uh, open any app by only gesture only. I have kept it off, but you can enable it. And then next is app circle bar. If you enable this, the sidebar will open and it will give you the app overview. So you can choose which app to have in a circle bar. So it's a good option to have. As you can see, this app circle is open, so you can scroll through it and you can keep app you want. So it's a good option to have. Then next is you can adjust the navigation height, navigation bar height. I have kept it default, but you can keep it small or larger. Another customization can be seen is notification. You can enable the notification light or disable it I have kept it normal that's a white color notification light then next is you can choose what content to show in the notification then you can enable the snooze timer for the heads up notification so I have kept it for you can snooze it for 5 minutes or 10 minutes as per requirement then you can uh, choose the timeout for the heads up notification I have kept it for 6 seconds you can change to 4 or 8 seconds then next is status bar then go to quick setting then you can enable the quick pull down from right hand side or left hand side as per requirement then next is brightness control you can enable the brightness control that is by swiping a figure left or right you can adjust the brightness then double tap to sleep means you can sleep your device by double tapping on status bar then notification ticker then show weather in the panel as you can see my weather is shown inside the power notification panel then show notification count then enable network traffic monitor you can enable it disable it I have kept it off then next is clock and date style you can change the color of clock you can change the alignment of clock to center or right then you can change the date font size small or normal don't show it and you can change the date format also as per requirement then next is battery status style you can change the battery status style to the circle icon landscape icon portrait text or hidden and next is show battery percentage you can keep it hidden or inside the icon or next to icon then next customization can be seen is advanced inside that there is an ad blocker you can enable the ad blocker or disable it and you can update the host file also for the ad blocker now another customization can be seen under performance means you can choose the tweaks of speed 
that is you can keep the maximum speed at the highest level of the cpu and the minimum speed at the lowest level of the cpu then you can change the governor of the cpu i have kept it on interactive you can change as per requirement so it's a good option to customize the kernel then next is privacy you can enable the privacy guard means you can choose what app to uh, see your data or read the data and uh, access the data so it's a good option to block or block any app which you don't want to have to read, read your data then next is blacklist you can block the unwanted call or sms through the blacklist then next is filter notification means you can manage the ignore notification through this then next is buttons you can enable the left handed mode in this um, option then you can enable the power button as the end call switch and there are tons of options inside the button then next custom can be seen at display that, that, that you can uh, disable the immersive mode message means whenever you open any app that has immersive mode that it will show the pop up that you can uh, swipe up the navigation bar from the left hand side or right hand side so you can disable that message then you can change the toast animation then you can enable or disable the arrow to brightness then another settings can be seen is the system profile you can change the system profile as per requirement now talking about battery life this rom has pretty good battery life as compared to the customization provided as you can see now my the battery is charged to 63 percent and my battery is still running from 11 pm so it will last me ar uh, around 10 pm in night and my screen on time is 1 hour 15 minute current so it will go along up to 4 hours so it's a good balance between the smoothness customization and battery so i will recommend this rom for the people who like heavy customization and the battery life of this rom is very is also good so i will recommend you to check out this rom once Thank you for watching my video and I will leave you with the good animation of this ROM because it has very good looking good animation. Subscribe to my Google Plus page for more info and discussion on the videos. Thank you.